Hey, Tony Gaskins here. Wanted to follow up on my video yesterday. You know, I got a lot of feedback and with anything, a lot of ladies got it. They understood exactly what I was saying. And then I saw a lot of ladies got defensive. And the thing about it is when, you, when something steps on your toes or if it's something that you've done, we immediately become defensive. And I know a lot of women took it out of context and didn't understand that to emasculate a man means you are stripping him of his male role and of his identity. It means that you are weakening him with your words or with your actions. You are crippling him. It does not mean that you can't express what's on your mind, that you can't express what's on your heart. It does not mean that you are coddling a man's emotions and feelings. It does not mean any of that. Look up the word. It means that you are not attacking him in a way that will weaken him, that will strip him of his male role or his identity of who he is. And what I mean by that is I'm more so talking to the ladies, this trend that I'm seeing in relationships today of thinking that you have to degrade a man, demean a man, undermine a man to make him look up to you or to make him fear you or to make him respect you. I'm not talking about when a man is cheating or being toxic and you get angry and you check him on his behavior. That's not emasculating a man if you do it the right way. What you also have to understand that even if a man is in the wrong, the point of the message to not emasculate a man means don't try to attack him just because you feel attacked. Instead, what you have to do is remember your self-love. And I said this in a video, but when you're guilty of something, you stop listening. You have to remember your self-love and you have to leave him. You have to create distance, whether that means that you leave him and he thinks that you're done so that he has to grow and try to win you back or whether that means you are truly done. It does not mean that you can't express how you feel about the situation on your way out. It does not mean you have to suppress your feelings and just put up with what he's doing. Don't miss the message trying to find a mistake. Understand this. The point is when you, if, if someone pokes you like this and you poke them like this, then they're going to poke you like this. Then you poke them like that and they're going to poke you like this, then like this, then like this, and then like this. The point is in a relationship, you cannot forget your class and your character and who you are. You can't get caught up reacting to situations instead of responding to situations. You've heard the saying, two wrongs don't make a right. So if a person is in the wrong, you being wrong and attacking them or lashing out at them will not make the situation better. What does make it better is you setting an example of class, self-love, self-respect. And if that means walking away because it was a very toxic action or situation, then that is an example where this person learns from you. When you stoop to this person's level and you want to be just as big and bad and nasty and you go to revenge, cheat, or you want to curse them out or you want to dog them out, talk to them like a dog, then guess what? You don't teach him anything. You reinforce what he already believes. And you show him that you're no better than him. You're no different than him. That both of y'all are on the same level, hurt, lost, broken, and confused, toxic. So what happens is he just comes back harder the next time, meaning cheating more, being more toxic, being more irresponsible because your response, your reaction to the situation reinforced his behavior. Now understand this, listen to this two, three times. 
before you want to be a comment warrior. And hear what I'm telling you. It does not mean to lie down and be ran over. It does not mean to put up with crap all of your life. It does not mean that you have to suppress your thoughts and your feelings. What it means is that in your expression, you cannot be degrading and belittling and disrespectful because what will happen is you will set yourself up for greater failure. Understand this. When I explain something to you from a male perspective, it is not condoning the behavior. It is explaining the reality of the situation, meaning that this is what's going to happen. Yes, I know that it is wrong, but what I'm trying to help you understand is this is what will happen nine out of 10 times and you have to be prepared to respond and not react. You have to have the knowledge of what is going to happen if you are emasculating a man. Even if he was in the wrong, it doesn't change the fact that when you hit back, now he's just going to hit back harder. He's not going to be whipped in the shape by you trying to whip him in the shape. We learn and grow by example. We learn toxic behavior by example. We learn healthy behavior by example. So if you want to stay you have to respond in a healthy way. And if he doesn't accept your response in a healthy way and then reciprocate in a new and healthy way, you are loving the wrong person. But see, this is why you want to fight. The reason why you want an excuse to yell at a man and curse at a man, talk down to a man, disrespect a man after he has upset you, hurt you, cheated on you, disrespected you, the reason why you want to do that is because you are broken and you are bitter and you are hurting and you are lost and you are confused and you are operating from a place of self-hate and you don't want to hear the truth because the truth hurts and the truth requires change. So if you are not willing to grow and to change and to become a better person and vibrate on a higher frequency, then you will refute the truth, rebut it, make a point that is not a point and try to find a hole so that you can remain the same in your brokenness and in your bitterness. But understand growth does not happen there. So what you have to do in life men and women, is stop expecting the people in your life to do the right thing because they have agency over their own life. What you have to do is be responsible for your actions, meaning if they don't do the right thing, then you have to do the right thing, even if that means leaving them. It doesn't mean that because they're irresponsible, you should become irresponsible. Because they're abusive, you should become abusive. If they are what you don't want, that means you need to leave. That means you need to let it go. But you stay and you fight and you argue and you stoop to their level and you emasculate a man because your brokenness makes you desire a unhealthy, toxic codependent relationship instead of a healthy interdependent relationship. So please don't put words in my mouth because when I express something, it's coming from being in the trenches, coaching relationships all day long, seven days a week. So I've evaluated from every angle, every perspective. And if you listen and listen twice or listen three times, you will hear what I'm saying. So a lot of you get it on the first time, but I, I gotta help those of you who misunderstood what I was saying and please hear me. It does not mean to coddle a grown man, does not mean you can't express yourself. It means that you should not stoop to a toxic level.